decided she wanted to go to the room. But once I decided that I wanted to stay downstairs and hang out with everybody, she gets mad and, you know, the whole attitude comes on. She sends me a message. I don't think this is going to work anymore. Hey guys, and welcome to Little Black Book. You know what time it is. Told you guys about, well, Fallon and Jalen, but we're talking this question, why your man has stopped spending time with you? Yes, there's a real reason as to why your man has decided that he's not spending any more time with you. And we're going to break it down for you on this particular video. We're obviously using Couples Retreat Season 3, Episode 4 to do so. If you don't watch the show, don't worry. We're going to break down this topic and the answer to the question in the title. So those of you who are returnees, you know what it is, baby. You got the minerals, baby. All right, listen, let's get into this. I don't waste much time. All right, quickly, a few reasons as to why your man's going to stop spending time with you. Um, number one, peace is not here. You do not offer any peace. Okay, when I when they come to you, you don't offer peace. It's like being next to a volcano. You know, it's like what I'm talking about. Number two, time spent with you doesn't provide the value, um, you know, in that instance, right? So they feel like they're wasting time when they spend more time with you than what they should be doing something elsewhere, for instance. Number three is they don't feel respected. A man doesn't feel respected being in your presence. You don't honor him. You don't appreciate him. He don't feel respected being in your presence. Number four, he's avoiding conflict. Yes, when they come into spaces where they feel like there's too much conflict or they feel like the person doesn't really, um, doesn't, uh, 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 doesn't know how to uh, keep things uh, at a cool temperature, the person may try to avoid future conflicts, future confrontations, future issues that are going to upset the relationship or set people um, and have uh, a dispute or a falling out, right? Another is uh, that uh, they, they feel like, you know what, they can't get time alone, that every moment, every waking moment spent with you, they want a bit of space to do them. Um, and so they don't want to come and spend time with you because they need, they need their own personal time. Uh, number six, uh, when you do spend time together, it's selfish on your part. It's, it's, it's about what you want, what you want to do. Um, and there isn't any reciprocation. There isn't any asking, how are you, babe? There isn't, there isn't, babe, there's anything I can do for you. There's no servitude going the other way. And so while you want to spend time with me, if that's the case, then I can do that elsewhere. And number seven, um, the time of season that it is actually requested for uh, uh, time. Because if you're asking me when I'm watching the football, you might not get it, babe. This is my time to spend. Let me just enjoy my time watching football or soccer. Yeah, let me let me do my thing, right? Um, so time of season also for the request can make it look like they don't want to spend time with you. But, it, you know, the first, the first kind of fuse is peace. The peace and the respect is a huge thing for men, and that's why they actually disappear from the home. When they feel that the peace has been removed from the home, they tend to stay away from that place, right? Now, I'm sure women will probably say, I want peace too. We hear you, but don't worry about it. We're talking about the men right now. Okay, so in regards to that, I think what's really important is I'm using this instance of Jalen and Fal uh, Fallon and Jalen as an as an example because he's not hearing any more peace at his home. He talks openly about how he's disrespected by his uh, by his wife, uh, so his future wife, and you know the fact that you know she she herself has said she doesn't respect men. Not her man, but men, which is ev inevitably going to spill onto her man because her man is part of the men. Um, and so uh, her her feelings towards men is spilling over to how she treats him. And he's tired of being treated badly. But the problem is, and I probably should have added this as well, he can't vocalize how he feels. The reason why he can't vocalize how he feels, or if he does vocalize, he may feel like he's, it's not being heard. Behavior isn't changing. Um, you know, if it, you know, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to ruffle the, I don't want to rock the boat. I don't want to cause issues. I don't want to blow up. Right. And so they don't trust that when they do say something, it will be honored or that it won't come with wahala and more madness. So they don't say anything. And so they, instead of actually doing something, they avoid. And this is what uh, uh, our brother has been doing. He's been avoiding uh, Fallon and trying to try not to spend time with her. Now, two times that he has said about that she's complained about the time being spent often, not often, the two times he was trying to spend time with a group. Now, I think that's very clear. He might want some alone time, but I think also as well, the fact is he just doesn't want to spend time with her. Whenever he spends time with her, it's not a good time. You're not fun, right? You're not fun anymore, right? 
every conversation leads to an argument or a dispute or, you know, you telling me how you feel and you just dumping on me or, you know, I can't do this right. It's, it's not a safe space anymore. So I don't want to come home. It's not, a, that's another point. It's not a safe space anymore. And that's what he's actually told us through his uh, uh, video, uh, through, through his conversation with Tony Gaskins. It's not safe anymore. Right. Um, and, and I think a lot of the kind of added aspect is, when you're stressed from going to work, when you're stressed from being in a work field, when you're stressed from being on the battleground outside, you don't want to come home and receive more stress. And that's what he's getting. He's looking after eight people, including her sisters. So he's not just paying for his immediate child, which he has. He's paying for her three other kids that she had another marriage. Okay. And also he's paying for her sisters. He's actually looking after eight people at 23. And that can be very tasking on the mind and the heart and the emotions. And when you when you feel like you're not when you feel like you're under pressure, you tend to go back to your survival tactics. And if your survival tactics are to do with not dealing with the emotional aspect of the relationship, then that's what you're going to do. Now we have a little bit of background, and we know from our brother Jalen, which is that his mother was in an abusive relationship with her father, with his father. And so there's a lot of emotional trauma there. So he's already turned off probably some emotional aspects of his behavior. And then him having to have a lot of stress in terms of provision will further reduce the need for emotions. It will further go down. Now I'm going to do another video talking about silence is conformity, but we knew as we, we saw earlier episodes where he said he wanted to talk, especially about the situation where she had it, that she had with her ex man. He wanted to talk because the newspapers were running different articles and different, different uh, uh, messages in the press and in the blogs. And he wanted to talk and she told him not to, right? So he feels an area of control, which is another reason why men don't want to come home. They feel that they're being controlled. And this is their way of being free. By me not coming home and uh, me not coming home or me not spending time with you, it means that I now don't have to be under your duress and under your control. It's my way of taking my control back so that you don't control me, Um uh, you know, as well. So I think there's a lot that's going on with Jalen in his own mind. Uh, we can play a little bit more of the clip uh, just to understand. I realized, wow, he is 23. What if this relationship doesn't work? I may be too. She was, uh, Sue Batch came out and said, um, I, I, only, I realized now he's only 23. And I realized, you know what, um, um, he, I only realized that he may be dealing with a grown woman. You're not grown. You're independent, sis. Okay? And you don't like, you don't, you don't respect men. You're not that grown as you think you are. You're grown because you're, you're, you're grown in a sense of independence. Yes, because you've had, you've been forced to since your childhood, but you're not grown. And that's the issue that one of the, that's where, that's where the main contempt is coming from, from her side. And we're going to do another video about this. But when you have contempt in your heart, you're not going to be able to respect your man. And so therefore, when you don't respect your man, it doesn't take much to ignite the fire that begins to disrespect him. And so when I feel that disrespect, I don't want to be in your presence. I don't want to be around disrespect. I don't want to be disrespected. Right. And we know from Jalen, too, he, he 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 doesn't talk up as much. He's not very assertive in the talkative aspect. And so instead of instead of talking, he's avoiding the situation. So it says he's avoiding you. OK. Listen, some of you ladies have a contempt in your heart. And because of that contempt, the man don't want to come nowhere near you. And so your man's actually started separating himself and emotionally distancing himself because he feels the contempt from you. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell button for notification of uploads. We appreciate you guys. Stay up for loaded. We'll do a part two and part three.